Hello, and welcome to this edition of Photoshop Basics. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool, the infamous pen tool, because it seems like a lot of people tend to have problems with the pen tool. So I'm just going to show you a couple little things that will get you moving with this tool. Now, if you go over here and you scroll down, you'll see the pen tool. And notice that if you leave the mouse hovering, it'll give you the tooltip automatically, which is the uh, P key on your keyboard. So if I was to select another key and then go ahead and hit the letter P on my keyboard, I'm going to get the pen tool. So that's one quick little shortcut to select the pen tool. Now, you'll notice up here there are a couple other little options. Well, the first one is going to be your shape layers. This is going to essentially create an actual shape filled with the color that has been chosen here. And as you can see in the layers menu, you now have a shape layer that is filled with that color. And this particular area, you can see that the entire layer is actually filled with that color However, the pen tool is just selecting that section. It's similar to the tool in Illustrator that allows you to do like a clipping path. And essentially that's what we're doing. We're, we're filling this entire shape with blue, but then we're cutting it down just to this particular area. So now what we can do is if I hold down control and I click on the lines here, I can actually select each one of these points and move it around to a desired shape. Now, if I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, it'll allow me to actually change the shape of that area. Okay, so again, just holding down the Alt key will give us a um, different tool that will allow us to actually bend and morph those lines. Now, you'll notice when I roll over a single line, you get a plus icon, a little, there's a little plus right next to the um, pen tool. And that just basically is going to add a point to that path. And if you go ahead and click on control, you can grab and stretch these lines. If you want to grab them independently, just hold down your Alt key and you'll see that these lines move independently of one another. So if I switch back to control, again, I'll be moving them in sync with one another. And then allowing me to basically move this shape around and then change the size as needed. So again, when you're working with these tools, just always, if you have a corner like this that doesn't have any sort of curve to it, you want to just hold your Alt key and that's going to allow you to open up that, that uh, particular point into a curved shape. So that is a really basic way of using the pen tool just to get started. Okay, so I'm, for right now I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. So, so just remember, whenever using the pen tool, use the control and the alt keys on your keyboard to control the points. Now, another thing you can do is you can use the pen tool as a path tool. And what that does is it's not going to fill the shape this time. It's just going to create a path. And you might be wondering, well, what's the point of that? Well, the point of that is that you can actually take this path, and I'm going to add a couple little curves to it here add another curve to this point and add another curve to this point just to make it a little bit more organic and then we'll just take this point and bring it down here now interestingly enough if you come over to here and click on paths and scroll down to the bottom you'll get you have this little icon here it's like a circle with dotted with almost like little dots around it that's going to basically turn your path into a selection. So now you have a much more organic selection, which will allow you to grab points very accurately. So in the event that you want to cut something out of a photo, uh, rather than trying to you know loosely select it, 
with the lasso tool, like if I was to try to like even select a shape similar to that, you're going to notice that it's going to come out very rugged. It's not going to come out like real smooth. I mean, if maybe if you have a like a pen mouse um, or some other drawing tool that you use, it might be a little bit easier. But this particular tool, um, it, it's very you know, it, it's not really accurate in terms of selection. Um, so I really highly recommend using the pen tool just to create the exact shape that you want using the pull and stretch methods that I'm showing here where you're literally just creating a new, um, a new point along the path and then holding control to then select it and drag it out and then just using the control key plus grabbing the handles to then bend the different lines around just to really get organic with each with each line. So again, um, just a, a simple combination of using the control and the alt keys to select the path. And you'll notice that that path just closed. So whenever you're creating a path, it's going to always pop up that little circle right next to the pen tool the minute you get right back to the same point that you started on and that's going to close the path so that's going to always give you a nice solid shape to work with and if you hold the control um, button down again on the keyboard and grab each line you can just move these sections independently um, to do uh, and to create different shapes so again I'll just go ahead and hit alt which will allow me to drag this out and then shift back over to control to drag this out and then create another path, another point along the line, and then hitting the Alt key just to sort of stretch it out a little bit, and then grabbing Control just to bring it back out. So you can see you can create some really dynamic shapes, and then simply coming over here and hitting the um, Convert the path into a selection tool, and you, get, you can see the dotted line again here. I'm going to deselect the path, and you'll see that I now have a nice um, selection in the shape that I drew out with the path tool. So there you go. There's a basic way to get started using the path tool. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.